namely that antidepressants often do not do what they promise and are in fact causing harm to many. Uh, Dr. Steve Hotze is suing over Obamacare's employer mandate. It's time for a wellness revolution. a wellness revolution. Brought to you by Hotze Health and Wellness Center. Honest discussion on maintaining health and wellness naturally to enjoy a better quality of life. He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor. At now, Dr. Stephen Hotze. Good afternoon, everyone out there. Thank you for joining us today at Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution. I'm Stacey Banfield here with Dr. Stephen Hotze, the founder of the Hosey Health and Wellness Center. If you've got any questions for Dr. Hosey today, he is live in studio. All you have to do is call in 713-212-5950. That's 713-212-5950. You can also comment on Facebook because we are on Facebook Live. So all you have to do is type in Hosey Health. That's H-O-T-Z-E Health. And you can watch the show live and make any comments you like. And a lot of times we like to respond to those comments and questions. So we appreciate our Facebook viewers. And then finally, we do have podcasts. Love those podcasts yep. because you can listen to the program any time of day or night. Download all of our radio programs. And then all you have to do there is go to HotzePodcast.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E Podcast.com. And without further ado, we have our host of the show, Dr. Stephen Hotze. How are you today, sir? I'm doing great, Stacy, And I know you're doing great. I can see it in your sparkle in your eyes well, and the smile on your face. I'm excited about a promotion that we're running right now on one of our most popular products. And if you're watching us on Facebook, uh, we actually have a sample of it right here. It's the Power Pack. I love the Power Pack. Why? It has so many good things in it, including energy formula. You know, you feel that dip around three o'clock in the afternoon for example you need a little boost one of these little power packs it's awesome it's probably why it's so popular because it's got people get a lot of really good effect out of it so well, the power pack is is a simple way and it's a power pack it's in a pack and it's got several different vitamins minerals and other nutrients that help your body function properly your body has to have vitamins and minerals to function properly. And unfortunately, due to the way, uh, due to the pesticides that are used on the food and the insecticides in the fields and the, all the various petrochemical products that are added to the processed foods and the uh, dyes and all the chemicals that are put in the foods, our body has to detoxify these and that requires vitamins and minerals and most Americans don't get the proper vitamins and minerals in the food and there are certain reasons for that part of the reason is they don't give the land a rest every seven years they so if you use your land every year year out and you're putting fertilizer in the soil and insecticides that gets into the food products and the, and the food doesn't produce uh, it doesn't contain the proper vitamins and minerals they pick it early you know, a lot of times, you know, whether it's whether it's bananas or other things, other other uh, fruit products or even vegetable products, they pick them early and let them ripen, not on the vine. They're not ripe on the vine, so and they're shipped and they're frozen and then they're processed and then they're sent to you, and so you you, you lose a lot of the necessary vitamins and minerals and nutrients that you would have had if you lived on a farm, you know, and grew your own food and you ate it fresh. We don't do that anymore. Now, you can get some organic food at certain uh, stores offer that. I know Whole Foods is good about that. And there are other stores that do offer organic foods. And if you can get them organically, that's all the better. Because then you're not going to be loaded up with all the chemicals eat when you eat natural and healthy foods. But it's important for you to make sure you have good vitamin and mineral supplementation. So in the Power Pack, it contains my formula, energy formula, which has multiple different vitamins and minerals in it in and of itself but on top of that we add <clears throat> l-carnitine and l-carnitine is a fat burner it helps your power cells convert fat to energy and it's very important in the functioning of your power plants we also also uh, in this product we have coenzyme q10 which is so very important for energy production within your cells in the power plants. It's very important for cardiovascular function. It also contains N-acetylcysteine, 
and that regenerates glutathione, and that's your detoxifying molecule that your body makes. It contains magnesium, and that's so very important for normal cardiac rhythm and relaxation of your blood vessels so you don't get uh, high blood pressure or keep, prevents you from getting high blood pressure. Remember, one of the most common causes of high blood pressure in the country is low magnesium. Most Americans have low levels of magnesium. And even if you measure it in your blood, you're not measuring what's going on in the cells. And uh, you need to get plenty of magnesium. That's so very important. And I can't tell you the number of people that we've helped get off their blood pressure medication by simply putting them on magnesium. When you go to your doctor, he goes, well, you have high blood pressure. Your question should be, why do I have high blood pressure? What's going on? And they'll usually say, well, it's just essential high blood pressure. You know, people get it as they get older. You need to lose weight and exercise and all that. But here, go ahead and get started on the blood pressure medication. What I would tell an individual, you go in for a blood pressure test, 25% of the time it's white coat syndrome if you have elevated blood pressure. So you need to get a blood pressure cuff and check your blood pressure at home. What's your blood pressure in the morning and the evening? So this is is what I tell uh, our guests to do. Let's check your blood pressure at home. And let's get you started on some magnesium. Let's get you on a good eating program, a healthy eating program. And let's start doing some exercise. And let's monitor your blood pressure. And we, our goal is, is to coach you on a path of health and wellness naturally so you don't need to take pharmaceutical drugs to lower your blood pressure. Magnesium is very helpful in that. It also contains the power pack, also contains additional vitamin C, 1,000 milligrams. So this is in one pack. So in a pack with the energy formula and the vitamin C individually, you'll get about 1,500 milligrams of vitamin C. You need more vitamin C than that. And I want to talk today about the importance of vitamin C, particularly in helping prevent coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease, if you ask the common person on the street, what causes people to get heart attacks? What's the problem? Well, elevated cholesterol. No, that's not the problem. The problem is people have heart attacks because they have inflammation in their coronary arteries. Why do you get inflammation in your coronary arteries? You get inflammation because you're exposed to all kinds of toxic chemicals in the environment. What you breathe, what you eat, drink, and the various petrochemical-based lotions that you slather all over your body. And women do that a whole lot more than men do. Uh, But men use colognes and all that, and they also contain petrochemical products. You can smell it or you put it on your skin. You can be assured that that's going to get into your bloodstream and into your cells, and they're toxic. And also, we're all exposed to various metals in the environment. If you have mercury amalgams in your teeth, you're getting mercury in your system, and that is an inflammatory product, as well as lead and Aluminum, if you cook in aluminum, all these things can cause damage to the cells and make them toxic, which make you sicker, and you don't feel well, and you end up going to the doctor, and of course he tells you your blood tests are normal, and then he wants to put you on various pharmaceutical drugs to treat your symptoms, which just increase your toxic load. And we're going to come back and talk about how that adversely affects your coronary artery. And so that vitamin C is found in the power pack. So we are offering an amazing offer where if you actually, if you get on an autofill, you know, a repeat order every month, and it's actually going to be, I can't believe this, $60 off the investment each and every month for a year. So it's amazing. And all you have to do is go to HotzeVitamins.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E Vitamins.com. Or call in at 800-579-6545. That's one 800 Five seven nine six five four five two. Order. You are listening to Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. Please stay tuned. Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. Your daily dose of radio reality. Welcome back to Dr. Hotsey's Wellness Revolution. And if you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, want to do a one eighty and take charge of your health today, then give us a call. 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. We're more than happy to give you a complimentary consultation. And a complimentary copy of Dr. Hotsey's best-selling book, Hormones, Health, and Happiness. And maybe even a copy of his latest book, Duo 180, Join the Wellness Revolution. Well, we were just talking about the Power Pack. And I do want to repeat that offer because it is such a generous offer. Hotsey Vitamins, this is their foundational product. The Power Pack is everything that you want in one convenient pack that you can take each day. And so for a very limited time, 
if you purchase the power pack and you put on an auto ship program, then you will receive $60 off the price of the power pack for a year. Each shipment, $60 off, which is an incredible offer. So we definitely want people to take advantage of that, to be aware of that, because that is one of our most popular products out there. And I know there are a lot of people who are excited about that. So definitely go to hotzevitamins.com. That's H-O-T-Z-E vitamins.com. And then you can also call in at 1-800-579-6545. That's 1-800-579-6545. So we don't want you to miss out on this limited offer. Now, Dr. Hotze, we have a great question Okay. Uh, from Facebook. A lady named Deborah says she needs to know what to take for menstrual migraines. Oh, I relate to that. I had that problem. And why are the OBGYN physicians, why are they unable to treat these symptoms? It's a great question, Deborah. Well, Deborah, if you have migraine headaches can be caused by several different uh, things. Commonly in, in women <clears throat> who experience migraine headaches cyclically associated with their premenstrual symptoms, that's an indication that the uh, migraine headaches are due to a hormonal imbalance, which can be easily treated with natural progesterone. So if you have symptoms or premenstrual symptoms associated with headaches or migraine headaches, progesterone day 15 through 28 of your cycle, day one being the first day of the period, day 15 through 28 can really produce remarkable results and help eliminate the migraine headaches. Other individuals who have migraine headaches kind of all, all the time or intermittently, but they're not necessarily cyclical associated with the menstrual cycle. There's no, you know, there's no explanation, but they just pop up all of a sudden and you're bedridden for a day or two and can't get up, can't move, just can't function. That can oftentimes be due to a magnesium deficiency. And I highly recommend individuals, uh, to be on magnesium supplementation. Most Americans are low in magnesium. And it's very safe. And you can take magnesium citrate or magnesium glycinate. Take 600 to 1,000 milligrams a day. Take it in divided doses. And that can be a godsend. And Stacy can tell you about that because she had problems with migraine headaches that were unresponsive to hormonal therapy but responded well when she took her Magnesium. So instead of having to take a $50 a day pill to keep her from getting migraines, now she could take magnesium, which is cheap compared when you compare to a pharmaceutical drug. Yes, it is. <clears throat> yes, it is. And then various foods. If you have food allergies, foods can trigger allergic reactions that cause your body to release histamine, the, the mast cells to release histamine, and histamine is vasoactive. And it can cause you to have migraine headaches as well. So there, I've had individuals that uh, have had food allergies, common foods, wheat or corn or egg or milk or yeast or soybean, any of these foods. Are, and there, there are certain chemicals uh, that maybe you drink wine and you get, you notice that you get headache after you drink wine. Well, don't drink wine. Stay away from that. <laughs> so, uh, so you can figure out what the trigger is on your migraines. But commonly, balancing the female hormones and taking magnesium can go l huge, long way to clearing up your migraine headaches. So you don't have to go down and get on all these expensive medications, which don't treat the underlying problem. If you're having migraine headaches because you have low magnesium and you're not taking magnesium, but you're taking some kind of medication like Caffergot or any of the other medications that they have for migraine headaches, you're not treating the underlying problem. You're treating a symptom. You're masking the symptom. So that's why it's important for you to, and that's why I believe everybody needs a health coach, coach them on a path of health and wellness naturally so they enjoy a better quality of life without using pharmaceutical drugs. Instead of treating the symptoms with pharmaceutical drugs, why don't we treat the underlying cause of the, of the symptom? Don't treat the symptom Treat the cause of the symptom. And oftentimes the underlying cause can produce uh, of a problem can cause a host of problems, as we mentioned with thyroid, for instance. Low thyroid can cause one, some, or any of the following problems. Low energy production, difficulty with weight, cold body temperature, headaches, uh, brain fog, poor sleep, mood swings, depression, 
joint muscle aches and pains, sluggish bowels or irritable bowel function, recurrent infections. Um, in women, it can cause menstrual irregularities. So when you have a symptom, you want to ask your doctor, what is the cause of this symptom? The symptom is not the diagnosis. The diagnosis isn't you have migraine headaches. Migraine headaches is a symptom of an underlying problem. Get at the root cause of the problem. That's what a diagnosis is. A diagnosis tells you what is causing the problem, not what the problem is. So whenever you, anytime you go to a doctor, you should always, when the doctor says, well, you have, you know, A, B, or C, diabetes, or you've got high blood pressure, you've got cardiac irregularities, or you've got, you know, uh, kidney disorders, or you've got degenerative, why? Why do I have these things? What's the underlying cause of my problem? What can I do naturally to solve the problem or address the underlying cause of the problem? And if you're going to give me pharmaceutical drugs, what are the side effects associated with these pharmaceutical drugs? Am I sick because I have low levels of pharmaceutical drugs in my body? When you were healthy and well at any time in your life, you weren't taking pharmaceutical drugs. You just felt healthy and well. So that's the long and the short of migraines, and I hope that gives you some direction. Uh, first thing I'd do, start on some magnesium, see what that does. But with your problems, uh, as you mentioned, Deborah, I think it's probably associated with, with uh, if it's cyclical, it's probably associated with uh, low progesterone levels, which women inevitably have once they hit about midlife, 35 and beyond, your progesterone levels are going to tend to decline the last half of the month, and that puts you in a state of estrogen dominance, which can cause a host of these uh, host of symptoms and can be easily corrected with natural progesterone. Now, why don't most OB-GYNs do that? Because they're trained as surgeons. They're trained to deliver babies do hysterectomies and bladder lifts. I mean, that's basically the warping wolf of their practice. So they're not trained in natural approaches to health. And they should be. And remember, uh, if you're working for an insurance company and <coughs> doctors work for insurance companies because they have clients that come, the insurance company sends them, the insurance company pays them pays them a check uh, for their, the various number of patients that are in their, uh, in their practice. And they have certain protocols they have to follow. And natural approaches to health are not promoted by the pharmaceutical companies. They're not in their protocol. That's why insurance. That's why I don't take insurance. I'm not going to have the insurance companies tell me I have to use pharmaceutical drugs uh, when a person has migraine headaches, when I know we can treat it naturally and get rid of those problems. Yeah, and it was so frustrating too, Deborah, because when I used to be on pharmaceutical drugs, first I had to find one that even worked on my migraine. So I had to switch around all these different products, Imitrex, all these different things. And they made me feel fuzzy. They dull the pain maybe a little bit, but it really wouldn't do a lot. And then finally, when I found something that masked the symptoms, I still didn't feel 100%. Of course, I was shelling out all this money on a pharmaceutical drug. And I think one of the symptoms of the one I was taking, Zomig, was uh, increased risk of stroke. That's a lot of fun. Um, but I told myself at the time, well, I'm young, you know, maybe I don't have to worry about that for now. But that's a disturbing potential side effect. And so the fact that the combination of being on the progesterone and the magnesium, getting my hormones balanced, getting my nutrition balanced out. Uh, you know what? It's been so great to have not been on a pharmaceutical drug for several years now and not be a slave to that. Uh, definitely has improved my quality of life. So definitely would encourage you to try those options. There is a solution. It's like Dr. Hosey said, you just have to get to the root cause and you don't have to, you don't have to suffer with that every month. You know, it's, it's amazing to me in, that more doctors don't follow natural approaches to health. It's the safest way to do things. You don't have the side effects, none of the side effects that you have with the pharmaceutical drugs. Remember, pharmaceutical drugs are chemicals that never existed before in nature that drug companies have made simply to mask yeah. symptoms. They have no desire uh, on helping you be healthy and well, because if you do, you don't need their drugs. And then they don't make any money. I don't have any problem. I'm a free enterprise guy from the get-go, but you know, if there's a better way to do things, we want to do it that way. If there's a safer way to help you be healthy and well, let's go the safer w route. Let's try that and see if we can't get you on a path of health and wellness naturally. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Hoodsey. And if you have any similar symptoms like that, or if you have other symptoms that you know could be treated naturally and you want to find out more information about doing that 180 and taking charge of your health, being proactive, give us a call today at 
869-281-6988. Now back to Wellness Revolution. Your 100% organic, farm-raised, grass-fed, gluten-free, cage-free, non-GMO radio show. Here's Dr. Hotze. Thank you for tuning in to Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution today. I'm Stacey Bantel here with Dr. Stephen Hotze. If you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, want to do a 180, take charge of your health naturally, then give us a call today at 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. Here's Dr. Hoodsey. Thank you so much, Stacy, and thanks for joining us today on Health and Wellness. I'm sorry, Wellness <laughs> Revolution. And our goal is to encourage each one of you to take charge of your health. I met a, a guest, long time of guest, of ours on the before the radio program, she was on the way out in the hallway, and I ran into her and asked her how she was doing, and she was having a lot of problems. She had been very healthy up until two th- and been on a program for numerous years prior to 2012, and her her father became very ill. He got dementia and got Parkinson's disease, and she became the caretaker for him. And there were some other family issues that came through, and she had to care for him for three or four or really four years, and he just died this last year. So that was a stress for her. And while she was taking care of her dad and under all the stress of having to care for care for his medical needs and his personal needs, she really didn't follow the program well. She took her hormones, but she didn't take her vitamins, and she didn't exercise, and she didn't watch her eating program. Of course, uh, inevitably, she gained quite a bit of weight. And I saw her in the hallway, she was just feeling... She said, I used to run marathons, half marathons with my family. I used to run every day. I was thin and trim, and now I've just come back. And she came in from out of state. She came in and said, I just have got to get myself back on track again. I've got to do that. And I told her, well, you know, it's good that you're back. And, you know, people oftentimes get up on, on a health and wellness program and do well for a period of time, and then some issues enter their life which seem urgent at the time, and then they forget about every, they forget about themselves and they spend all their time taking care of the, of the person or the family member in need. And they drop their program. Next thing you know, they're back in the same boat they were when they first came in. So just like it's happened to Jeff Yates, you know, Jeff had his, you know, we followed Jeff for well over a year and he got in his car wrecks and everything and that threw him off the program because he had to lay in bed and he just had a lot of, uh, you know, health problems due to car injuries and surgery and all that. So it can happen, but what you have to do is you have to say, okay, I'm down now. I got to get back off the mat. You know, I've got to, I've got to stand again. I got to get up and stand and get, get back on track because there's still a lot of living left and it's not, it's not whether or not you're living, but how you're living. And, and you want to live your life feeling vibrant, healthy, well, full of energy. And I would uh, encourage those of you, any of you who may have maybe listened to our program that have been on a good health and wellness program and were doing well and now have fallen off the wagon, so to speak, get yourself back up, write down as a goal. This is what I told her. I said, you know what you need to do, write it down as a goal. You've come in here, so you're doing a 180. And I gave her a copy of my book, Do a 180 to give her some encouragement. I said, you're doing a 180 now. You decided you want to get back on track. Well, that's very important that you made that decision. What you have to do is write it down as a goal now. If you just want to get back on and you don't write it down, it's just a wish. I hope I can get better. I wish I could get better. I want to do better. Write it down as a goal. And that has a, there's power in writing out your goals. They've done studies on that. And people that write out their goals specifically tend to do better than people that just think about a goal and try to accomplish something. So I just know all the successful people I know, they have they have lists of what they're going to accomplish, what they're going to do, and how they're going to do it. You've got to do that. So write down your goal and write down the plan you intend to uh, take to achieve that goal and write down out the benefits. What is going to be the benefits of getting your health back? What's going to be the benefits of having energy again, being slim and trim and feeling vibrant and enthusiastic? How will that affect your relationships? with your spouse, with your, your family, with your friends, in your work, and all that you do in your life. And how will, how will you feel about yourself when you're healthy and well? How do you feel about yourself when you're sick and tired? Dr. Ritzy, it's amazing that you're saying this right now because I actually uh, came across a devotional this morning that says the consequences of inaction. 
and it says, what will happen if you don't stop your poor eating habits, your lack of physical activity? If you don't stop consuming so much sugar, fat, calories, what will it cost your family, your self-esteem, your relationships, your joy? Please write out as many costs as you can think of. So there is a huge cost. There's a cost to being unhealthy in there. Yes. And there's a benefit. And what I like to do is write out the benefits. What's it going to do for you? So you write out your goal, you write out your plan, write out your benefits. Who do you need to partner with to help you? If you were a athlete and you wanted to win a gold medal, you get a coach. If you're a good golfer, I mean, all the golfers on the pro tour, these guys are scratch golfers. I mean, these are great golfers. They all have coaches. They have other people that are coaching them. They're not doing the work for them. They see what they need to do to get better, and they help them get better. So you need to partner with a doctor or staff professionals who can help you onto the path of health and wellness naturally. You've got to have a coach who's going to help you get better. What do you need to be reading, studying? And we're, there are tons of we got tons of books here. I've written three books that, that can be very beneficial to you. But you need to read those. You need to educate yourself. You need to change your mindset. You can't go through and say, well, I am the way I am. I'm just getting older, and I'm going to feel like this, and that's the way mom and dad felt, and, well, I'm going through it, and I'll just rip my teeth and bear it. Well, you can do that, or you can decide to go and get a conventional doctor to fill you with a bunch of drugs. And I told you a lady I saw the other day was on at least 20 different pharmaceutical drugs, and she could hardly get up out of the chair, and on several different psychotropic medications, all of which are making her really incapacitating her. Just... It's sad to see that because I know there are millions and millions and millions of people out there that are unhealthy and unwell, and our society is in such a shape. Those of you that hold the strong Christian values and and, uh, believe in the principles of American freedom and free enterprise and liberty and all that, we need you guys of the utmost, want you to be healthy and well so we can rebuild our society and overcome the difficulties that we all face. If we all get sick and tired, what's going to happen? Things go to heck in a handbasket. Family falls apart, family falls apart, then everything else falls apart. You break down the families, you break down the whole nation. You don't have any uh, any home base, any foundation on which to build a society. you got to have a society that's built upon, first and foremost, trust in God. We say in our on our coins, we trust, trust in God. We say we're one nation under God and the Pledge of Allegiance. We need to turn back to him, and then we need to build our families that way. So I'll be back. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about vitamin C and heart disease when we come back. And I got off, got off that on top, off topic. So we'll come back to that when I come back. <laughs> All right, wonderful. And if you do want to find more information on doing a 180 and taking charge of your health, then give us a call at 281-698-8698. It's 281-698-8698. You're listening to Dr. Hoodsey's Wellness Revolution. Please stay tuned. Now back to the Wellness Revolution. Here's your host, Dr. Stephen Hoetze. Yeah. This is Dr. Hosey's Wellness Revolution, where we are on a mission to help you achieve health and wellness naturally. If you want more information on doing a 180 and taking charge of your health, then give us a call at 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698. Here's Dr. Hotsey. Thank you so much, Stacey. Thanks for joining us here on Health, I'm sorry, Wellness Revolution. <laughs> it is a health revolution. It's a health and wellness revolution. And we are trying to change the paradigm, the way people think about their health. Rather than putting your confidence and trust in pharmaceutical drugs, put your confidence and trust in yourself and get yourself a coach that will coach you, a physician that will coach you on a path of health and wellness naturally. Look, you are a health athlete, whether you want to or not, whether you want to be or not. You're either participating in the health Olympics or you're not. But one way or another, you're in the the health game. You may be doing nothing, which is going to lead to means you're going to score nothing. You're going to fail. You're not going to get anything. You're not going to win place or show. Our goal is to help you get on a path of health and wellness so you win a gold medal. That's what we want. So you have a, a gold medal. You're feeling enthusiastic, vibrant, full of energy. To do that, your power plant's got to be producing a lot of energy. You've got to be healthy and well. So I want to encourage you to do that, and that's a paradigm. It's a different way to think. Those commercials come on on TV telling you all the pharmaceutical drugs are going to change your life, make you feel like a million bucks. Flick them off. Don't believe them. Just be sure you focus on the last 15 seconds of what they're telling you, how bad they are for you and all the problems they're going to cause. So know that, that they all are, are attended with a host of health problems by taking pharmaceutical drugs. That's just the way 
It is. They're toxins, and they will poison your body, and they'll add to the toxic load. Now, I talked to you earlier about coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease, most people would say, well, it's called, and yes, most doctors, it's caused by elevated cholesterol. It's not caused by elevated cholesterol. Elevated cholesterol is a symptom of coronary artery disease. It is not the cause. Coronary artery disease, that's disease of the arteries of the heart, are caused by inflammation from the various toxins that you come in contact with, from what you eat, breathe, drink, and slather on your body, from the, from the metals that, that uh, get, into the, get into your body, either through mercury amalgams or aluminum, from what, you, what your food's being cooked in, or lead, or whatever. You got these various toxins, and uh, recurrent infections can also cause that. Uh, the toxins from infections can damage the coronary arteries. A high, a diet high in sugar, can also adversely affect and cause inflammation in the coronary arteries. When your arteries, your heart arteries, are inflamed, they deteriorate. They get raw, just as if you took sandpaper and took sandpaper and scraped the back of your hand over and over again, it would get raw. That's the way the arteries look when they become inflamed. And the inflammation settles primarily in the coronary arteries because that's where the most pressure is. Your heart's beating 72 times a minute, 100,000 times an hour. And that puts pressure. They get stretched. The arteries get stretched, and they get compressed. And so if they're inflamed, they begin to deteriorate. Well, the body doesn't like that. And there's a mechanism for healing the arteries, and it's, it's... it's a, a, su- a protein substance called collagen. Collagen's the protein glue that holds all the cells together. Well, when your arteries are under stress and they're inflamed and they're broken down, you need to have a lot of collagen at that location to heal those arteries. And collagen production is dependent upon vitamin C, adequate and copious amounts of vitamin C. While you may appear healthy in other parts of your body, you may not have enough vitamin C in that area of your body to be able to produce adequate amounts of collagen. So the body has a backup mechanism. It's not going to let your arteries stay raw. It's got to heal them. So the body produces elevated levels of cholesterol to cause to lay down a Band-Aid on your arteries. And it's a plaque. It's a cholesterol plaque called lipoprotein A. It gets laid down on the artery. And then those plaques assimilate calcium, and so they harden your arteries, trying to give it rigidity to make it stable so it's not breaking down. Unfortunately, with continued inflammation in the artery, you get a bigger and bigger buildup of calcium. Then you can throw a plaque, a cholesterol plaque, and float down the artery, and you've got a narrowing of the artery, and next thing you know, you've got a heart attack. So you've got to keep your arteries clean. And I'm going to just tell you, and you're not going to hear this from your cardiologist, but the studies have been done, and this goes back for decades, that increased levels of vitamin C will enable your body to produce adequate amounts of collagen that will keep your arteries healthy. I'm a prime example of that. I listened to Dr. Linus Pauling, who was a big advocate of vitamin C back in the late 80s and 90s. I listened to his work, uh, uh, his lectures, and his books, read his books, and that of Matthias Rath. Uh, medical doctor with whom he worked. And I was convinced by the studies that were done that vitamin C is not only helpful to produce collagen to help your arteries stay healthy and clean, but it, but but vitamin C is so very important for immune system health as well and, and uh, adrenal support, keep your adrenal glands healthy. It's, it's absolutely critical to good health. You don't have enough if you didn't take vitamin C for six months to a year, if it was withheld from your uh, diet, you would die. You can't live without vitamin C. And most of us just get the bare minimum of vitamin C, but we don't get enough to keep us in excellent health. I recommend, personally, 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C per 25 pounds of body weight. It's shown that you have to take at least 2,000 milligrams a day of vitamin C to enhance in, in, to enhance uh, your ability to and to prevent coronary artery disease. Did you know that vitamin C also lowers blood pressure? Vitamin C also lowers cholesterol levels. So what doctor have you ever gone to and said, look, doc, uh, the doc said, look, instead of giving you a statin drug, I'm going to give you vitamin C because I know we can lower your cholesterol with vitamin C and keep your arteries clean. Well, they're not going to say that. 
because they'll be accused of being a vitamin doctor by their colleagues, and they don't want to have that. They don't want to have that. They're going to follow the protocol of the insurance companies and of their societies. you got to take statin drugs, which cause a host of health problems, including the loss of coenzyme Q10, which is so very important for energy production within the heart. So I recommend vitamin C, and I've been on vitamin C now for 25, at least 25, maybe 28 years. High doses of vitamin C, approximately 10,000 milligrams a day. That's what I take. And guess what? When we do a heart scan at my office, and I've had one done just in the last year, I've got zero calcium buildup on my arteries. That tells me I just don't have any inflammation in the arteries. If I had inflammation, then I would be, I would be forming plaques, and plaques would be absorbing calcium, and I would, have, I would have calcified arteries. I don't. But we have guests that do, and we know this, is that if they get up on vitamin C, and other nutrients that are very important like proline and lysine and, and uh, other products, phosphatidylcholine, get up on these products, vitamin K, you can reverse coronary artery disease. That's right, reverse it. And that's what you want to And you can reverse it naturally. It's been shown. Dr. Dean Arnish did the studies on diet alone. You can have a tremendous impact on your coronary arteries uh, and improve them and clean them out. There's plenty of diet, uh, good eating plans that you could be on, plus the additional vitamins and minerals and nutrients that will help you uh, prevent the development of coronary artery disease, inflammation of the arteries in your heart. And there's also evidence, and we've got clear, that we can reverse your problem. And that's what you need to focus on. You need to focus on preventing a problem from developing. If you have... Uh, plaque, which is atherosclerosis, if you have plaque that's calcified in your arteries, you don't know that unless you do a heart scan, CT heart scan. We do that here at the Hotel Health and Wellness Center. You ought to call and have that done. Get your heart scan. Find out what your level is of calcium. If you got calcium, then you know you need to get really serious about how you eat and the vitamins and minerals and supplements you take as well as the hormones. It's really simple. Coronary artery disease is preventable. It's preventable, but we don't prevent it in the United States. We're one of the leading nations in coronary artery disease. It kills about 600,000 people every year, and there's millions or more that have the problems that didn't die. So I want to encourage you to get yourself on a good, healthy eating program, vitamin mineral supplementation, and hormonal replenishment program in order to prevent coronary artery disease. And I'd like to add to that as well that the heart scan that we offer here is available for guests and non-guests. It is simple, painless, non-invasive. So you can give us a call, 281-698-8698 to get that scheduled as well. That's 281-698-8698. Thank you for joining us today at Dr. Hoodsey's Wellness Revolution. God bless you all. Information provided on this radio program is neither intended nor implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice and is not intended to replace the services of a physician, nor does it constitute a doctor-patient relationship. You should not use information from this radio program to diagnose or treat a health problem or disease without consulting with a qualified health care provider. If you have or suspect you have an urgent medical problem, promptly contact a professional health care provider or call 911. Dr. Hotze's Wellness Revolution radio program advises you to always seek the advice of a physician or other qualified health provider prior to starting any new treatment or with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Any application of the recommendations from this radio program is at the listener's